everybody. James Sabalski along with Ray Ferraro. We're ready to go. I know you're ready to go. Let's drop the puck. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. The Bears start with possession as we are now underway. Slides the pass over to Scarbosa. Picked off by Neal. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Here he is in front! That's blocked by Fukali. Fukali's had a lot to do with the team's winning record. His save percentage has been excellent all season. Stops him again! Right spot makes the double save. Positioning does it all. The Thunderbirds take it across the blue line. He grabs the puck here on the point. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. Gains the zone through center. Molson's got it against the boards. Here's a chance! Oh, what a stop! Hofer's able to handle that shot with no problem, and he gets it into the corner for safety. Stop that one. Just off target. So much work goes into creating a scoring chance these days. It's so hard to get good ones, and then they miss the net. They, that's a frustrating scene of events for them. Break away! Oh! Scores! Once he gets clear of everybody chasing him, now he's got his head up, and he finishes his breakaway beautifully. The Thunderbirds draw first blood here as they score the opening goal of the contest here. Coaches and players always talk about getting out to an early lead, how you can dictate the pace. Takes the pass. Great poke check on the reach. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pekka. And now he angles it across to McEachern. Takes it to the net. Stones him in front. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance that's turned away. Feeds the puck across to Pekka. Solid body contact. Quick feed to Protus. Hershey's got the puck along the wall. Couldn't complete the pass. Denies the shooter on that play. Gets it to the other point. Shuts him down. Santini's lugging the puck. And he serves it across to McEachern. The Thunderbirds take it along the wall. Here's a chance. Turned aside with the glove by Hofer. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And now he moves it quickly to Neal. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. All quick work with the stick and comes up with the puck. And that doesn't exactly go take to take. Here he is shot right in front. And that's turned aside. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Misses a golden opportunity there. The Thunderbirds scoop it up along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Takes it to the front. And he's peeling off to regroup. Moves it to Pilon. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Big time stop there. Good save. Positional save through travel. And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the horn ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you. And we'll be back with period number two in a moment. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. The Bears win it. Moves it quickly over to Alexiev. McElrath's moving the puck through his own zone. And that's taken away. Here's a short pass to Pekka. Great hand eye by the goaltender poking it away. Scarbosa's got it in the corner. Blocked aside. Scores! There's number 20 on the year. Round numbers are great to achieve. He's across the first real threshold of the season. Get to the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there, and he puts it away. 
Hershey's counter punch pays off. They've evened things up here in the second. They've had really good legs since the start of this period, and it seemed like a matter of time before they'd punch through. Sends a pass over. Oh, what a stop at the court by Pacali. Molson's a leader on his team because his play all over the ice is so strong. You don't get on this list very often if you don't have a game that works at both ends of the ice. Two minutes, 39 seconds. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Quick pass to Pekka. Here's a shot. Turns it away. Nice pass. Sends it over to Leeson. Takes a shot. And a great save. Moves the puck down low. Hershey's at the back end. Quick feed to Cross. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by McElrath. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Goes right to the crease. Big save in front. Hershey's got it in their own zone. An easy save by Hofer. Moves it to Bitten. Violent collision. He moved in quickly. If you go at that pace, you take away all the available ice. Made the stop on the play. He's saving them again. There's a couple back-to-back -back saves. Moves it quickly over to Bitten. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. The Bears ready to go on the attack. Hofer's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. McElrath's style of play will put him among the league leaders in hits every season. Past the halfway mark of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Bears win the draw. Quick shot. Makes the save. Wow. There's the goal. Taking the lead now, you control it. You push the pace, you push the other guys back on their heels. Ah, uh, you'd expect that. The team's leading goal scorer finishes another one. The Bears go ahead by one. They had to work for that one. A lot of work put in just to get yourself inching into the lead. There's still lots of time left. Springfield's got the puck against the boards. Hershey's got a hold of it along the wall. Taken by Beccioni. Protas scoops up that pass. He's dangerous in this zone. He's already got the go-ahead marker. Cross carries the puck in his own zone. Sends it over to Ennis. Oh, absolutely hammers him. Unloads one. Turns it away on the slap shot. Springfield's got it along the wall. Pokes the puck away. Hershey's playing it through the neutral zone. Can't get it to go. Poked away at center ice. Pilo's carrying it ahead. Shot. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Hofer's locked in. Every puck hits him and stays in front of him. On the odd chance there's a rebound, he tracks that well, too. Here's a short pass to Kaspik. Great heads up play with the stick by Wichow. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. As a safety issue and courtesy to you, our fellow fans, please keep the aisles. Time for the opening face-off here in period number three. James Savalski and Ray Ferraro set to call the action for you. The Thunderbirds win the face-off. Hershey's got the puck. Now a quick pass to Alexiev. Feeds it to Scarbosa. Takes a shot, comes up with a stop. The Thunderbirds gain control of the puck. Throws it on goal, denies him with a save. Hofer's on top of that one for a whistle. Little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. We're still in the early stages of this period. Hershey's got a slim lead, they lead it 2-1. Peck has won a big draw on their own end. Pass to Cross. Takes the feed. Almost lost 
the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Santini's got it along the wing. Hershey's gained possession along the boards. Now he takes it over the line. Quick pass to Molson. Makes the save with the trapper. Here he is with the backhander. Oh, wow, stops him again. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Springfield's on the attack. Rocks him on the play. The Bears have it behind the net. And now it's over to McElrath. Hershey's got the puck against the half wall. And he slides it quickly to McElrath and makes a save. Moves the puck. Quick feed to Bitten. Slides the puck over. Looking to make something happen in the Whoa. offensive zone. Moves it to Beccioni. The Bears are on the attack. And it comes up with the save. Puck scooped up by Hofer. Moves it over to Reichel. Nice zone entry on the left side. Here's a shot. Oh, that goes off the mask. He keeps it out using his head on that play. Great read in the offensive zone by Ennis. And there's another stop. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Pitton's gaining momentum. Along the half wall with the puck. Puck clears the zone, and they'll be forced to regroup. There he is. He's got a step. Oh, what a stop on the one-on-one. -on -one. What a great play to get in on the goaltender all by himself, but turned away with an excellent save. Here's a shot. Denied by the glove as the puck hops along. Slides it diagonally to Vecchioni. Handles the puck. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? The Thunderbirds are on the schedule next for these guys. We had a coach, James, that would ask us in a random meeting, who are our next three opponents? You'd be amazed how many guys would get two of the three wrong. What about you? Always knew. You always knew. Yeah. Well, I, smartest guy in the room, right? No, just <laughs> paranoid. <laughs> Up along the wing. And that's knocked away by Alexiev. Here's a chance right in the slot. Moves it quickly over to Kespik. Traps that puck tight to his chest. Passes it over to Pilon. And he says no. Springfield's got a hold of the puck now. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Hershey's got control of it now from their own end. Springfield, Scully is on the bench. The extra attacker has jumped into the play. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face-off looming. Extra attacker on the ice. Big face-off here coming up. The Bears win it in the defensive zone. Simple detail, win the draw, you can get out of the zone. Grabbed along the board by Neal. Wrist shot from the slot. Gives them nothing in front. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. And the puck clears the zone. Whoa! He scores into the empty net, and that's all she wrote. Uh, you can see the one team is going to be able to relax a little bit now as they pad the lead. The Bears add the insurance marker, which pretty much seals the deal on this one tonight, Ray. Well, their opponents pull the goalie. They're trying to pressure to get the tying goal, but it backfires. And the empty netter puts it away. Hofer's at the bench, allowing for the extra attacker to jump on. Here's a short pass to Molson. And that plays offside. We got a faceoff coming up. Always a focal point of the opposition is trying to shut him down. One of the league leaders in points. He's really tough to get a handle on. The Thunderbirds get a hold of the puck off the draw. And it is all over with this one. Springfield scamble late comes up as a failure, Ray. Yeah, they just didn't get it done here. I don't know that they'll be overly pleased with their performance, even though it was essentially a one-goal game until the empty netter. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us tonight.